everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be here today bringing you my picks for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. It's a little echoey in this room. I do have a rug now behind me, but it's still very like, echoey because the ceilings are so high in here and we're still waiting on some furniture, so it's a little bit empty, but I do have good light in front of me. So I wanted to film here and I wanted to um, bring you my recommendations for the sale like I do every year. And um, some of these things are gonna be things that I bought this year. I placed my order on Thursday, today's Saturday. And some of the things are gonna be things that I bought last year and in years past that I've loved, like this shirt that I'm wearing that is back in the sale this year. So I hope everybody is doing well. I'm so excited to see you all. I'm excited to be filming. And let's get into it. I am gonna start with jewelry because you guys know I love jewelry and I love makeup. I'm actually gonna scoot to the side. There are actually not that many beauty picks this year, you guys, kind of interesting. But what I'm gonna start with is jewelry because I think there are so many beautiful pieces of jewelry in the sale this year. And the first thing that I wanna start with is this Misoma necklace that I'm gonna throw up in um, on the screen here. Let me scoot over a little bit more. Okay, so this, I've never heard of Misoma until the sale, you guys, and they have some seriously beautiful things. The first thing is this stone and enamel pendant necklace, which is kind of one of these thicker chains that's in with a emerald cut stone with um, different color of enamel surrounding it. First of all, I love, love, love enamel. I think it is so interesting, so beautiful, so colorful. I don't know why it really makes me happy, but this black one, this black and gold pendant is so classic. This is always gonna be in style. In the sale, it's $245. I understand that this is expensive, but the reason that I'm recommending this is because the combination of black, um, any kind of black stone, black surrounding a stone and gold is a classic color combination. And I actually wore my grandmother's wedding ring to show you this. So it's a diamond surrounded by black enamel and a gold band. And this ring is, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 years old. And this combination of black enamel with gold is so classic, it's so stunning. Um, I just think that it is such a great looking necklace. I cannot recommend it highly enough. They also have earrings that are similar. They're also Misoma, and they have them in the same three colors. They have them in the black, the pink, and in a navy blue enamel with a little turquoise stone, and I couldn't stand it. I ordered all three. I know it's insane, but I, I told you I'm like in love with enamel. I love enamel things. I think they're so amazing. I love the color, and I just think that this particular line from Misoma is absolutely stunning. So if you prefer one color, I think that the black and gold is totally classic. I know I'll keep that pair. I'll wear it all the time because it just doesn't go out of style. But if you like color, you may go for the pink. It's a lovely pop. Like I think the pink would look beautiful with the maroon. Or if you wear a lot of navy blue, I think the navy blue and turquoise is also gorgeous. So I really recommend those earrings. I know that the price point is slightly high, but I think that it makes more sense to buy um, less and more like timeless pieces. That's just my feeling. I'm not super duper into um, trendy jewelry. It's just not a thing for me. I um, I mean, sometimes I like trends. Like right now there's kind of like a, a trend of um, stacking bracelets and stacking rings, but that's always been my style to stack things. In fact, my husband, when we married, which was like in 2005, would make fun of me because I always wore stacked rings. I love stacking rings. I love stacking bracelets. I've always liked to stack necklaces. So it happens to be on trend right now, but for me, it's kind of classic. I've always liked to do that. So my point is here, Make sure that you, in my opinion, invest your money in things that you're gonna wear for a long time. And if you're gonna buy something trendy, make sure it's really inexpensive. You're not spending a lot of money on something that's trendy. Okay, the next piece of jewelry I wanted to talk about is this Bobble Bar Eternity Band Ring, and they've got three different different ones. The one that I really liked was the with the pastel colors, and I bring this to you because I like stacked rings. So I think that this ring can be worn alone. A lot of you like to wear rings on your pointer fingers. I kind of have fat fingers, so I never wear rings on my pointer fingers but I think this would be beautiful on your right hand in a stack. So love the bobble bar quality. I actually have a bunch of their stacked rings. I think that they're great. Also, every single year I talk about the Nordstrom Cubic Zirconia earrings. I have every size of these. I happen to have really, really small earlobes, and so I tend to like the um, one carat total weight the best, which is 0.5 on each year, which they're out of. Go figure. Hopefully they're gonna restock it. So if they restock the one carat, which is 0.5 on either ear, you know, snatch those up. If they don't, um, the two carat are great, which is one carat on either side. It also depends on the size of your earlobe, 
what speaks to you, what you like. Some people don't want to have like big gaudy earrings. Some people have big lobes, like my mom has really big earlobes. And so she wears huge diamond earrings because she wants them to take up more of her earlobe. So it really depends on you, but I'm, I'm here to tell you that the quality of the Nordstrom cubic zirconia earrings is outstanding and I can't recommend them enough. By the way, this is gonna be like a 30 minute video, so get a drink, get a snack. Okay, next, there's a Nordstrom Cubic Zirconia Teardrop Frontal Necklace. They have this in both clear and rainbow. I happen to be very much into rainbow. I always have, I've always loved rainbow, and it happens to be on trend right now. So I'm really excited because I'm finding a lot of things that I've always liked that happen to be also on trend. So I bought the rainbow one, but if you are not into rainbow, they do have a clear one as well, and maybe that speaks to you a little bit more. Also, they have a Nordstrom. I just think that the Nordstrom jewelry is so good quality. It's excellent quality. It doesn't seem to, you know, get ruined or tarnished or fade. Um, so the Nordstrom Rainbow Cubic Zirconia Tile Stretch Bracelet I got. I love this. It's got little emerald cut squares with little square discs all around the bracelet. It's stretchy. It's easy to get on. It's going to be comfortable. I can stack it with my other hundreds of stacking bracelets that I own. A little embarrassed, but not really because I just love to stack. And then they also have this in the plain diamond and gold. So if you're not into rainbow or if you like both, I happen to get both. Um, then you could get one or two of the clears and stack them together. And it just, I think it's such a cute statement to stack bracelets. I just think it's fun. Um, and I just, I think this is such an expensive looking bracelet with the bezel set emeralds. I think that bezel set jewelry, um, just looks beautiful. My grandmother's ring is set in a bezel. It doesn't have prongs. My wedding ring is also set in a bezel. I particularly think that bezel set jewelry is very expensive looking. I love it. So I purchased this bracelet in both the rainbow and in the clear. Next, I wanted to talk about these Nordstrom Trillion Rainbow Huggy Earrings. Last year in the sale, I got the round uh, rainbow huggy earrings. This year, I got the Trillion Rainbow Huggy Earrings. I love them, I think they're so cute. They do also come in clear for those of you who don't want rainbows. But I think that the Nordstrom Huggy earrings are a really inexpensive way of um, wearing a cute Huggy. Right now, it's so in style to wear a bunch of Huggies if you have multiple holes. For me, personally, for my taste, I like to wear the Huggies on the biggest, the biggest, my biggest hole, my main hole. And then I like to wear teeny tiny studs on my second hole. Um, I also do have a really, really teeny tiny huggy that I wear on my second hole sometimes, but I think that these are perfect if you have multiple holes and you wanna layer them. So super duper cute. And then every year Nordstrom does have this tiny pendant diamond necklace. It is a um, little tiny drop diamond necklace just on a gold, silver, or rose gold chain. Next, if you want something a little bigger, something that stands out a little more, are these bubble bar, bar earrings that have different shaped rainbow colored stones on the hoops. I think they're cute. They're a little bit bigger. They're not gonna be like teeny and tiny. I am not gonna buy them. I'm recommending them to those of you who don't work in a hospital and have to wear tiny earrings every day. For me, it doesn't make sense to buy a lot of um, cost, big costume earrings because I just wear them like never. Like a friend gave me these ones. I will try to find them and then link them for you below. But um, I have like three or four pairs of kind of statement gold earrings and that's it. I don't tend to buy more just because I wear scrubs every day I'm in the hospital. I can't wear big earrings. But for those of you that have a job and you're wearing regular clothes every single day, I think that these are so cute. I think that they would um, really make any outfit interesting because they're rainbow and they have different shades. And then they also do have a matching set of bracelets, which is a uh, cuff. Um, that has the different shaped stones and also a cuff that's got plain diamond stones. I will make sure that those are in stock um, when I post this video. In the sale, also Masoma, I told you guys I am loving the Masoma jewelry from the sale, is the Pave Hammered Pendant Necklace. I'm actually not buying it because funny enough, in a fair in Colorado one summer, I bought a necklace that looks pretty much identical to this. Um, and I love it. I love the disc. I love that it's a little bit battered. I love that it's got the white little diamonds. And I think that this necklace, if you wear it a little bit longer, is absolutely perfect to layer with other necklaces. So if you are having trouble, trouble layering necklaces, I will link below something called a necklet, which is a little um, clasp that has room for you to add three necklaces and it keeps them together and untangled. So I'll add that um, below and if you 
just have always been like annoyed by trying to layer necklaces, the necklet is the answer to that problem. So if you get this beautiful Masoma hammered necklaces, wear it layered with other necklaces, especially like a choker, it'll look so beautiful. Love this necklace. Lastly, for necklaces, I did want to mention something. It's not in the anniversary sale, but it is on sale. Does it even make a difference? Down from $60 is this adorable Nordstrom sterling silver and cubic zirconia heart pendant necklace. How cute is this, you guys? Love it. I had to buy it. Um, so really, really liked that. Okay, we're finally done with jewelry. I wanted to move on to uh, shirts. First, I wanna mention that CC shirts, which is the type of shirt that I'm wearing today, every single year they have in the sale, and I think that CC is one of the best brands. I think it's become more known in the last few years um, because of the Nordstrom anniversary sale. They're typically pretty expensive shirts. They're between $60 and $100, like $60 and $90 each, but they are so beautiful. They have such interesting textures, like this little one is such an interesting fabric. So the first shirt that I wanna talk about by CC is a shirt that I do own that I bought before the sale and it is this CC embroidered puff sleeve top. Look at how beautiful it is. Oh, actually I have a slightly different fabric on my shirt. This one is black and white daisies, but it's so pretty and I have one that's similar. It's just got a different floral print on it. I mean, I just think that's so beautiful to wear with like jeans and flats or jeans and heels if you're going out to dinner. I just think you can also dress it down and wear tennis shoes. Like you can do whatever you want. I just think that it adds so much interest. I tend to be a person that doesn't wear many patterns. I just don't like wearing patterns. I don't know why. It's probably because I'm not a fashionista and I don't know how to style patterns. So I feel like if you have a little bit of a pattern on a sleeve, it's adding a little bit of interest to your shirt, but in a more like quiet way. Um, so I love that shirt. And then the shirt that I'm wearing is the CC Clip Dot Ruffle Mock Neck crepe top and they have it in cream, black, uh, blue, the same color that I'm wearing. They had it last year and green. All the colors are beautiful. All of them are vibrant. I tend to really like wearing colorful, vibrant shirts. I think it's pretty and adds interest. So I really like that shirt. And then I also have from like two or three years ago in the sale, the CC puff sleeve crepe top. I have it in black. This is one of my most worn shirts across the board. Every single time I have to dress up, I have a lot of skirts. I have several, I have a skirt that I got in the Nordstrom anniversary sale that is a pleated um, kind of, um, it's like a pleated long skirt, maxi skirt, but it's dressy. And I wear this shirt with it and high heel sandals when I have an event to go to. Um, and then I also wear it with some Ted Baker skirts that I have that are also dressier skirts. And in the winter, this past winter, what I did is I paired this crepe sleeve shirt with these Ted Baker dressy skirts and I wore them with boots and a jean jacket and it looked so good. It's just such a good shirt. The cut of it, it's not too long. So if you wanna tuck it into a skirt, it's not like bunched underneath the skirt. If you wanna untuck it and just leave it out, it's not so long that it looks weird. I think that the sleeves add interest. It's very slimming and it looks great under a jean jacket. It looks great by itself. This is like a staple. I can't recommend this shirt enough. And it's $40 in the sale, you can't go wrong. Love that shirt. I also happen to have this um, CC imitation collar pearl sweater. How cute is this, you guys? I'm really into this pearl trend. I know that pearls are everything right now and I am totally here for it. So it's got a little white collar with pearls around it and it's $59.99 for a black, it's like a sweater shirt with the pearl collared ruffle. Like, is there anything cuter? I don't think so. Next is the CC embroidered floral mesh top. I have two or three CC shirts that are like this, so I'm not gonna buy this one, but it's where they're like a see-through crepe on the top, kind of like this one. It like has a solid line here and then see-through crepe. This one's black and white. I have one from last year in the sale that is multicolor, but very similar to this. And I also have a black on black that looks like this. It's all black embroidery on a black shirt from years past that I bought from CC. Beautiful, elegant. I think there is something super duper sexy about having crepe, like clear see-through um, fabric on the top, mesh, sorry, they're calling it mesh. There's something very sexy about having mesh over here with solid down here. It's just, it's a way of being sexy, but still understated, if that makes sense to you guys. Okay, next, I love this CC Ruffle V-neck blouse. I think it is so pretty. It comes in several different colors. It's three quarter sleeves. I'm not gonna get this, but I'm mentioning it to you because there are a lot of you who have in like September, October, November, 
times where it's too cold to wear a short sleeve shirt but not cold enough to wear a long sleeve shirt and three quarters makes a lot of sense for you in san antonio it's like there it makes no sense to have three quarter shirts because it's always boiling hot here so it only makes sense to have short sleeve shirts but for those of you that are in colder climates i love this shirt this color blue suits every single skin tone across the board it'll look fantastic on anyone so i do recommend that Next, the CC Puff Sleeves Mixed Media Top. They have had this top in the sale several years in a row. I have it in the bright blue, the black, and the green. In fact, I'll throw a picture up here of me wearing it in some family beach photos last year in the green. It looked beautiful. My son and my husband and my, and my sons and my husband were wearing blue and I was wearing the, this gorgeous top in green and my daughter was wearing a green dress and it just looked so pretty. So I've gotten a lot of use out of that shirt. This is getting ridiculous. This is how many CC shirts I have. Next, I recommend the CC Lace stretch sleeve blouse it's normally $70 it's $46.99 in the sale I have this in the black I think it's beautiful it is a three-quarter sleeve that I do own but it's just so pretty it's sexy because it's got clear sleeves but not so sexy that you're like it's inappropriate you can wear it anywhere it's just a beautiful top and it comes in a lot of colors I do want to tell you that I got the white last year and it is slightly see-through, so if you're very busty, the white may not look great on you. I think people with like a smaller bust, the white will look better. If you have a bigger bust, I would go with the black. Um, it was just a tiny bit see-through, I feel like, for a more busty person. And that, believe it or not, wraps it up for the CC top. So let's go on to some other shirts that I wanted to talk about. Every year in the sale, in the past, I have bought some Rails button-down flannel shirts. These shirts are just super high quality. I know you're going to look at it and you're going to say, why is a flannel button down $99? But I'm here to tell you, I have like five, six, seven of them. They're elevated as that's a word that I learned from Aaron Busby. There is such thing as an elevated plaid shirt. I don't know why, but it is. It is beautiful, a beautiful cut. Number one, they wash well. Number two, there's something about the cut that is more slimming, more fitted, and the fabric is just very, very high quality. It doesn't wrinkle. The way that it just falls on your body is so beautiful, and I wear them all the time in the winter. I generally don't dress up, so if it's the weekend and it's the winter, um, what I like to do is wear a flannel shirt with jeans or a flannel shirt with pants, and you can dress these up. I mean, you can wear black heels with them because they're such a nice fabric and they're very, they're almost like a rayon. They're not rayon, but that's what they almost feel like to me. The way that they drape is almost like a rayon. And um, I wear them also in Colorado in the summer when we're hiking around over t-shirts. So I just think they're the most um, useful shirts. That's why I have so many. I would have never thought that I would spend $100 on a shirt in a sale but I'm here to tell you that they're actually worth it. So if you can find a pattern that you like, a pattern that you think you will use, I can't recommend these enough. Moving on to another brand that I absolutely love and I buy shirts from them every year is the brand State. And every year they have these chiffon blouses. If you've been following my channel for any amount of time, you guys know I love chiffon. I love the way it sits. I just think it is a beautiful, beautiful fabric. So I ordered this chiffon State blouse. Um, in the green, it's beautiful. They have, um, it's, oh, the, co the color's called Ponderosa Pine. They also have it in pink and black. I just think it's beautiful. I love the chiffon flowy sleeves, and I love the way it ruffles around the neck. A little bit similar to this, but I think that this kind of um, forest green, which was like super duper in style in 1994 when I graduated from high school, is a beautiful jewel-toned color that suits so many skin tones. So I think this will be great for black pants and I think it'll be great for jeans. Next, my sister wanted me to order the, her this top, which is exactly the same as the one that I just spoke about in green, but it's floral. So it's the floral ruffle neck chiffon top. So I got it for my sister. She loves wearing florals. She's opposite to me. She's happy to wear like patterns and florals. And in fact, most of her clothes, I feel like, are florals and patterns, and she sports them so, so well. So she had me order her this beautiful floral pattern, and I asked her if I could borrow it, if I thought it looked good on me, and she said yes. And the price point is good, it's $52.99. I think that wraps it up for the fancier shirts. I always love to look at the Castellon brand in the anniversary sale if you are in need of any plain t-shirts. I happen not to be, but if you are, they have this Castellon short sleeve V-neck shirt. It's like $14.25 to $19. I love V-necks. I think I prefer V-necks 
or collared shirts to crew necks. I think that V-necks are a little bit sexier. I think it allows you to wear cute jewelry and um, I just think that they're sexier and more feminine. Caslon does also have their shirts in crew neck and kind of deeper open crew necks. It's like a more round neck. Um, so check those out if you are in need of any shirts. I think that the sale is the time to buy like t-shirts and basics because they're just great. Okay, let's move on to pants. What I did order are the Zealous Sidestep High Waist Track Pants because pants do look fine on me, especially straight leg that kind of balance out my upper thigh and my lower calf. The other thing that I can't recommend enough are the Sweaty Betty High Waist Leggings. I love these, you guys. These are the best leggings I've ever worn. Like I just said, I'm the heaviest I've ever been. And um, I've been working out on my Peloton, my Sweaty Betty leggings, and I've gotta tell you, they suck me in to where I'm not like sad when I look in the mirror. Like, they're so good. I have a pair of Walmart leggings and I have a pair of Sweaty Betty leggings and I'm here to tell you, there is a difference. Was not happy when I was spending $100 on the Sweaty Betty leggings, but when I look in the mirror in my Walmart leggings, I'm like, no. And when I'm wearing my Sweaty Betty leggings, I'm like, these are sucking me in all the right places. So I did buy these embossed high waist Sweaty Betty leggings. I do love them. The only pair of jeans that I bought in the sale this year, you guys, are the DL 1969 um, boot cut jeans. I will throw them up here. I will obviously link them down below. I have got to tell you, I love DL 1969, the DL Sculpt. They're such good jeans. I have two pairs of them. I have a blue pair and a black pair. I've worn them a lot. I love them, they just suit my body type. If you're a little hippier and a little more in your bottom, they're a good type of jean for you. I know all of you watch my friend Erin Busby. She is just teeny and petite, and so I am here to give you um, some options of jeans and pants if you're not teeny and petite, like me. I'm not teeny, I'm not petite, I'm 5'10". My average weight is about 150 pounds, 152 pounds. I'm more like 156 now. Um, so I'm feeling a little hippier, a little weightier in the bottom and the DL 1969 jeans are very good. The other jeans that Erin has recommended but that also suit my body type are the AG boyfriend jeans. AG jeans in general are very good if you're slightly hippier and I'm slightly more in your bottom. So I do recommend trying the AG boyfriend jeans. I have two pairs, one that I got last year in the sale which has no holes and one that I got in the sale the year before that has multiple holes. Um, they have the ones without the holes in the sale this year that I'm gonna throw up here that um, I really like. They are just excellent. They look so cute with flats if you're a flat person, sandals if you're a sandal person, running shoes, which I'm a running shoe person. I wear these with running shoes all the time. I mean, maybe it's not cool. I, maybe it doesn't look good, but that is how I wear them and I think it looks okay. Or if you have cute tennis shoes like Golden Goose or um, you know vintage Havanias or uh, OCs, they look great with these jeans. So if you have not tried the AG Boyfriend jeans, I highly recommend you do. They're a slightly looser fit, loving that trend. Um, and if you like skinny jeans, which are still in the AG, I have millions of AG skinny jeans because even as kind of hippie and thigh-ish as I am, the AG skinny jeans do work on me as well, especially the mid-rise cigarette ones which were a Aaron Buzzery recommendation from at least a decade ago, but they still fit me, they still work. I mean, maybe they don't fit me right this exact minute, but when I'm down to my normal weight, which is like 150, they do fit me and they do look good. So that's a couple of jean options for you guys in the sale if you are slightly hippier. Um, and then the other pair of pants that I bought, I got one for me, one for my sister, are um, black wide leg trousers. Okay, you guys, I just ran out of um, batteries and then I ran out of space and then I realized that I filmed the first 30 minutes. Yep, it was about 30 minutes of this video without my ring light on. So is there a difference? I just turned my ring light on. I am sitting right in front of a huge window, but I don't know, tell me in the comments below, do you like it better with the ring light on or before? I'm sure it's better with the ring light. I've never filmed a video in all of my years of doing YouTube without a ring light. You can tell I haven't done this in a while. Work is so stressful, you guys. It's just a lot of things. And um, it's just getting worse and worse. Like every day I'm working more and more, which is why I almost never have time to film. But it's, it's not that I don't wanna film YouTube videos. It's just that it is crazy at work. And um, Hopefully that's gonna change, but we're working on it. We're like, it is a work in progress and I'm in a lot of leadership positions in my company, so hopefully things are gonna get better, but right now I'm just working crazy. So let's get back to the video. Anyway, the pants, the trousers that I bought were the stage trousers. Let me just 
adjust my camera. The state trousers. I bought a pair for my sister and one for me. The reason I bought one is because she told me to and she is much more of a fashionista than I am and she said that the wide leg trousers are just really, really flattering and everybody needs a pair of good black wide leg trousers. So I listened to her and the price point was like $89. So I did buy two of those and those were all the pants that I bought. Let me scoot over so that there's room for me to put a picture of those. Um, that is all I bought in terms of pants for the sale. Okay, let's move on to shoes. I have quite a few picks for shoes for you. The first one that I love that I did buy are these Corky's Waylon Lug Sole Booties. Aren't these cute? They I couldn't decide what color to buy them. And I love the brown, I love the gray, I love the black. I just got the black, but I thought they were all cute and the price point was really good. It's like 119. I feel like I bear, buy a pair of booties every year. It's like, does anybody need that many booties? But I like booties and I love these ones and they're really in with those big kind of lug sole booties, like the big thick soles. Another uh, brand of booties that I have several pairs of that I really, really like and that is the Blondo Toby waterproof booty. It's got a little bit of a heel but it's also got that lug sole. Blondo is waterproof so for those of you that are in either rainy climates like the Pacific Northwest or if you're on the East Coast where it snows a lot, you may want to look at Blondo boots because they're really, really good and they are waterproof. So I did try, also a great price, 119, these Blondo Toby waterproof booties. I thought that those would look cute with um, boot cut jeans, which are kind of coming back. I probably don't fit into any of the boot cut jeans that I already own, but I did order that one pair of um, DL 1969 boot cuts. So I thought that would look cute. Next, um, another brand that I wanted to, another booty that I wanted to just shout out about, which I don't need, but I really like them, are these Lucky Boots. They kind of have two fabrics and they have a zip. I love boots that zip. They're just easier. And I just love the looks of these. They have them in this forest green, which is clearly coming back from 1994. They have them in um, brown and they have them in black and they've kind of got a bit of what looks to me like suede and then their leather, it's just a good looking booty. There were also two pairs of sandals that I thought were so beautiful in the sale that I wanted to recommend to you. The first one is the BCBG. The BCBG sandals in the sale are adorable. The BCBG generation, um, the Tanika slide sandal, they're $59.99 you guys. And they are so in style right now and they have this adorable gold detailing. Like how cute are these in the natural? I love them in the natural and I love them in the white. I think that they are so super cute. If you want something that's not flat, they also have an adorable similar sandal with a bit of a heel called the Marlino Snake and Boss Slide Sandal. How cute is that? These sandals are so on trend right now and so I did want to kind of give them a shout out for those of you who are looking for sandals. I just adore them. I think that they're so cute. And that basically wraps up shoes. Now, let's go to home. I did buy a few things in the home sale. First thing that I bought, because we just moved back into our house and that's really what I'm so excited about, is the Pura Nordstrom Smart Diffuser Set. This Pura thing, I, do, do, you, do you guys see this on Instagram like constantly? I'm constantly seeing it on Instagram and I love, I use the, the Bath and Body Works um, little diffusers, but they don't have all the scents that I want. Like I wish they had Nest scents. And my understanding is that you can buy Nest scents for the Pura diffusers. So if I can find, so I ordered the diffuser and I'm gonna try to find Nest scents for them because I love Nest and I love their scents. And it's on sale for $64.99. I also bought three Barefoot Dreams blankets because I wasn't sure which one was gonna suit my couch color the best. So I'll only keep one, but the Barefoot Dreams Cozy Chic Throw, I bought that in white. And then I also bought the Barefoot Dreams blankets with the leopard print, linen graphite, and the dove gray and black because I wasn't sure which gray would look the best. Um, you don't want to spend that amount of money. A great, great throw blanket that I do have is the Bliss Plush Throw. I have it in the seafoam color. I'll throw it up here. My kids love it, but they come in like a million colors and they're $29 in the sale. Like you just cannot beat that. They're machine washable because I do wash them because my kids you know, they'll come back from like soccer, the soccer field and throw that blanket over them. So they do need to be washed, but it's a great blanket for a great deal. There's also this Ugg blanket, this Ugg throw blanket, which is fabulous for $64.99 if you don't want to spend $120 on the Barefoot Dreams one. Um, and Ugg makes such soft, cozy stuff. So this is another less expensive alternative. 
And then there's a blanket in the sale that I love, but it's so expensive. It's the Pom Pom at Home Riley Oversized Throw. How cute is this? It's got pom poms on the end. I'm not gonna buy it because I bought the Barefoot Dreams ones and like you can only have so many throws, but I think that the pom poms are totally adorable. And if you wanna spend $138, I think this is like the cutest throw. They have it in cream, kind of like a cool gray and a black. I think it's adorable, but it is $138. I'll link all of these blankets for you below so you can decide which throw you want, but I love the Nordstrom throws. Can't say enough about them. Okay, let's move on to dresses. I did buy one dress, the Halogen uh, check print shirt dress. My sister found this for me. She was like, I think this will look really good on your figure. Hopefully it will. Um, and I think it's a really easy dress to wear. In the Halogen section, if you don't want this dress, but you like this fabric, they have like everything in this fabric. I feel like they have a blazer, they have pants. I think they may even have a pencil skirt, but they have a lot of different things in this fabric. So if you're digging the fabric, but not the dress, check out the other things in this fabric. That was the only dress that I bought. Some other random things that I did buy that are on sale, but not necessarily in the sale are, um, I bought a wallet by Kirk Ge Kurt Geiger. I love this wallet. It is cream leather with these adorable metallic hearts. How cute is that? It's on sale for $81. Kurt Geiger also, I don't love the little bird head sticking out of every Kurt Geiger thing. I wish he would just take that away. I mean, I love all the Kurt Geiger stuff, but this bird head, it just, does not speak to me. I love the wallet so much that I did get it. And the very last thing that I wanted to talk about are the Nordstrom pajamas. I love the Nordstrom pajamas. They were actually an Aaron Busby recommendation from last year. And I bought two, I bought one pair of the shorts in the Nordstrom pajamas that I'll link below and I'll put up here. I loved it so much, I bought two more. So the one that I bought in the sale was the black. Loved it so much, I bought the navy blue and the leopard print. I bought the pants, the long sleeve shirt with pants in the leopard print and in the sale now I'm gonna buy the black and I'm gonna buy the red and white and I bought I bought the black and I bought the red and white checked love these Nordstrom pajamas they are so comfortable they are a little bit expensive but they wash be beautifully every time my daughter hugs me goodnight she's like these are the softest pajamas mom so if you are looking for new pajamas whether you're hot natured or cold natured you can find some of these Nordstrom ones they're so soft and so comfortable and a great cut and just absolutely lovely. And that wraps it up, you guys. I mean, this was a long video. You guys are probably ready to like click out of here. If you did like it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I will link everything that I talked about in the description box below. So hope everybody's doing well and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care, bye guys.